And you say, what, what is Man Group doing to retain young talent that might be unusual? I think in terms of the, um, uh, the younger generation, in terms of their work ethics, I think I'm beginning to see actually a level of frivolous, frivolousness in the culture of the younger generation, which is more shortcuts, fast track, less hard work, less diligence, because the country has been growing so fast, and, there, and, the, and the polarization of the rich and poor, and the time frame to get rich very fast has shortened by so much in the past 10 years that actually the work ethics had actually changed in the very, very wrong, wrong direction probably in China. I'm not really um, you know, uh, referring to India. So for example, at MTV Times, and also at a publicist group, we had, I managed 5,000 people with 13 agencies and different CEOs reporting to me. And I see that people, it's actually more women, women who are more hardworking. And it's men who all want to be in the financial industry, who want to be government officials, who are more trying to become richer, faster, um, because they're, they're worried. Because why are they worried? Because actually, th this country is showing a lot of case studies of the Robin Lee, the Jack Ma, and also the Ma, Ma Hua Teng, Pony Ma, you know, of CEO of Tencent. All of these people, you know, multi-billion dollar companies in 10 years. So everybody wants to be them. Right. Like even my son tells me, oh, he's my role model, Pony Ma. Yeah. And how old is your son? Yeah, he's 12. Uh -huh. And he's already like thinking, probably, I don't want to, the mathematics, that's too boring. You know, uh, physics, that's too much. But I said, without this hard work and due diligence and concentration and hardship, how can you get there? And I see that as probably something that, that has to be probably redirected a little bit. And another issue I see is also the social corporate social responsibility, especially the individual CEO sense of social responsibility as a leader. I think that also needs to be addressed because they are setting a big role model. They're the role model. The Jack Ma, you know, he's a huge role model. He's like a cult leader in China. So people regard him as the me of CEO the future. Of uh -huh. Yeah, of the, I don't know what generation after, the, the Y plus generation, who is, you know, really thinking. You know. So I think um, a lot of these issues have to be addressed. And Jack Ma is probably all, all these uh, leader, the current leadership, they are also in their early 50s or late nine, uh, 40s, who really actually begin to have to begin to realize what a role they have to play as a CEO, as a leader for the next generation.